TIFU by obliviously rejecting a blowjob from a girl I liked. Okay, this actually happened two years ago. When I started working at the job I currently have, I was gonna be shown the ropes by a pretty attractive girl. And we hit it off from the very start. We had lots in common. Our conversations were never boring or repetitive. This went on for about a month. There was good chemistry between us. We started to go to places. Get ice cream. Talk about anime, movies. And play video games together. At this point our conversation started to get ever so spicy. She's bi. So we talk about the different kinds of coochies we liked. Kinds of boobies we preferred. One day she pressed her small hand to mine and asked if her hands were big enough to wrap the shaft of my penis with only one. To which I only answered a vague, probably, with no follow-ups. Needless to say, I was quite attracted to her at this point. In hindsight, I, being a self-confidence lacking virgin at the time, still am, somehow shot down all her advances. Now, to the point in question, we were sitting together in the lunchroom after work. And somehow we ended up talking about fellatio and cunnilingus. She then placed her right hand on my crotch and asked me if I thought a blowjob from her would feel good. After hearing that, I thought she was Canadian and was just being polite. So I kept my wits about me and rejected her. Well, no, that's not what actually happened lol. I utterly flustered literally just laughed it off and said, haha, yeah, probably, I wanna punch the me from that moment in the face so badly. We slowly grew apart after that. Justifiably so, she likely thought she was just wasting her time with me. And yes, she probably was. It's been two years. We still talk every now and then. Hug each other, etc. But the spicy conversation and hanging out are no more. She's the kindest person I've ever met. And I truly respect her for that. I inwardly apologize to her every time I see her. TL. Dear I hit it off with a girl I met at my new job. We grew confident in each other. To the point where she offered to give me a blowjob. But I though she was Canadian and was just being polite. So I kept my wits about me and rejected her. Edit 1. I hope the people from Canada did not get offended by my self-loathing joke. It's a reference to this series of videos. I'd like to recommend it to anyone who didn't understand the reference. They're a thing of beauty. Edit 2. To the one saying she's a terrible person for drifting apart from me after the fellatio. Incident. Two things. First. It wasn't just that one time that I was oblivious to her advances on me. It happened many times that I now regret not having acted upon. Second. I'm definitely the one at fault here. She was into me. Most likely. And I ignored her every try to step thing up. Albeit obliviously. She definitely felt like I wasn't into her. And the fact that I might have hurt her makes me feel like a scumbag. Ah yes, hand on crotch in fellatio invitation, the good ol Canadian courtesy. Hey, two years ago you wanted to suck my dick, you still want to? Are you still single? Is she still single? And you guys still talk sometimes? Are you still into her? Make a move you buffoon. Ask her out. If you're still into her, you should try going for it again. Or bringing that stuff up with her. Or try to rekindle it. Lots of possibilities. Edit. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. John Wilkes Booth. Probably. What if she was actually Canadian and was just being nice? You could have embarrassed yourself. You did the right thing man. I'm proud of you. I say go after her again. Ask her to hang out. Sounds like you two had something good before and it doesn't have to be gone just because you were. Being oblivious one time. Op has the self-confidence of a turtle. You really blew it. 
she's Canadian I lolled, but I don't think it's too late for a hookup. These are so fucking painful to read. Ha, I got that reference. Still, I'm sorry for you dude. When will I see you at the wizard meetings? Maybe set yourself up so that no matter what, it's a win. Save up for a PS5 or that new stream handheld gaming system that my husband is raving about. Or whatever thing that brings you joy. A trip. New car speakers. Whatever would be the equivalent of mega treating yourself. Here's the rule. Though, you can only buy it once you've asked her on a date. It doesn't matter if she says yes or no. If she says yes, then fabulous. If she says no, then you get something you've been wanting for a long time anyway. I do this with doctor's apps and for big projects I need to finish. Once I complete the unpleasant task, I get something. Am I treating myself like a child? Pushing extrinsic values? Sure am. Do I care? Absolutely not. You don't get trophies as an adult. But you can buy all the candy bars you want. Ask the girl. Either way. You get something you want. This post made me ask a woman out. Unfortunately she's busy. But maybe another time woman shrugging light skin tone thanks for motivating me to shoot my shot though up. If she ghosts tomorrow. I'll know she's not interested. If she doesn't all plan for another week. You know what, you get out what you put in. I'm fucking crying at the comments back. I was at a New Year's party at my friend's house. Somewhere around 98 or 99. Just me, my friends, and my friend's cousin from South America. We were drinking, so I spent the night, and the cousin and I were the last ones up. I asked if she wanted to keep drinking or if she wanted to take it easy. And she looked at me and said, I don't know. Every time I drink a lot my knees end up hurting. Me. Clueless. Oh wow. That's weird. Is that some kind of allergy? I guess we better stop then. She went to bed not long after that. A few months later. I'm sitting in traffic when that conversation pops in my head. Me. Oh shit she was offering a blow job. You guys are still talking. Man it ain't over till it's over. You fucked up and is still fucking up. I reject your disclaimer that you fucked up two years ago. You are still at this very moment fucking up by not asking her out. Can you give me her number? Exclamation mark if. That. Still am. Hurts and I also can understand because I lost my virginity at 16 but I've never lost my lack of self-confidence. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.